Hi everyone, this is Zia Maliki from Information Technology. Today I've got another video for you and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a post on Wix and how you can publish that post onto your website. So to publish a post on your website, first of all you need to have a website on Wix. If you don't have a website then I suggest you watch my previous video where I showed you how you can create a website. But if you already have a website then let's go and get started so here i am on wix.com and the first thing we need to do is to sign in to our website so for that let's click on the sign in button in the next screen we need to provide a login information once you put your login information then we need to come down here and click on this button that says login and this will take us to the dashboard of our website here on the left we can see different links to the pages that we have on our website my posts are mostly on the forum page so for that let's go to the forum then click on the posts as you can see here, I have already created one post and that's how to create a bootable USB drive on Windows 10. And then down here, you can see that there are already built-in posts that comes when you first created the website. To create a new post, we will go to the top right hand corner and click on this button that says create new post. Once you click on create new post, it will take us to this page. Now the post has two sections. One is the title section and then the other is the body section. So let's give our post a title. So the title for my post would be find all saved Wi-Fi passwords on Windows 10 slash Windows 11. So once I gave a title to my post, then I will come down to the body section. And here I can write whatever I want about my post. As you can tell from the title of my post, that I want to show you how you can find all saved Wi-Fi passwords on Windows 10. So therefore, I will write down my post uh, in the body section and then I will get back to you. I have written some text in here where it shows the step by step uh, how you can get uh, all saved Wi-Fi on Windows 10. I would also like to add an image or a screenshot to this text. So for that, let's go down here and click on this button that says add an image. From this page, we can add images that already exist on our website. Or I can go to the top left hand corner and click on this button which says upload media. Once I click on upload media, it takes me to a new window. From here, I can drag and drop an image or I can click on this button that says upload from computer. Or if you can see on the left hand side, I can also upload images from the Google Drive, Facebook, Instagram, Dropbox, uh, Google Photos and other social media. But I want to upload an image from my computer. So therefore I will click on this button that says upload from computer. And now I will find the image on my computer. Once I find the image that I want, I will double click on it to upload it to my website. So once uploaded, let's go and click on this button that says add to page. Now the image has been added to our page. From here I can resize the image and I can reposition the image as I would like to. So once I'm done with the image resizing and repositioning, then I will continue writing on my post. And here I just added some more text to the post. And once again, I would like to add another image to this post. As before, we are going to click on this button and add a new image to our website. I would like to add some text under this image. So let me write down the text. Now I want this text to be in the middle of the page. So it should be right under the picture and it should, should be centered in the middle. For that, let's select the text. 
and then let's click on the alignment button. From here we will choose align center and as you can see the text has been centered. Let's add one more image to this page. We will follow the same steps that we did a while ago. In the same way I would like this text to be centered in the middle. So I will select the text and then click on the alignment button and choose align center. And the text has been aligned in the center now. And I would also like to add a step by step tutorial that how you can find the safe Wi-Fi password for all your network that you have been connected in the past. So this is a video from my YouTube channel and here I would like to add its link. So for the people that want to watch this video they can click on this link and then go directly to the YouTube channel and watch the tutorial and perform accordingly. So here I added a text that says you can also watch this video tutorial on how to see all saved Wi-Fi on Windows 10. Just click on the below link. So let me go and grab the link for the video and then I will paste it right here. And I will paste the link in here. So I think that's all I have in this post. So now how do we publish this post on our website? To publish this post, we need to go to the top right hand corner and click on this button that says publish. And boom, as simple as that, our post has just been published on our website. And here it gives me this message that great, post published on your live site. So to view this post, we can just click on here that says view post. And here is the post that we just published on our website. In this video I showed you how you can create a post, how you can add images or screenshot to your post. And then I also showed you how you can publish that post on your website. If this video has helped you then please give it a thumbs up and also share with your friends. If you are new to my channel then please hit that subscribe button. And I will try to make better videos for you in the future. So till next time it's goodbye from here.